All right, we can get started as a few more people file in. I'm Emily Hughes. I'm head of marketing at Mobilize. We're really excited that you joined us today to learn about using Mobilize with your digital stack. Before I hand it over to Jocelyn, we're going to give you three quick announcements. One, you are all muted, so don't worry about making any noise on the other side of your screen. Go for it. Two, we will send out a recording of this, which you are welcome to share. We will probably send it later tonight once the video is done processing. And three, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the Q&A feature um, throughout the presentation. I can answer some of them while Jocelyn is speaking and the rest of them I will ask to her at the end and we will answer um, in real time. So with that, I will hand it over to Jocelyn. All right, thanks. Uh, hello and thanks for joining today's webinar, um, How to Use Mobilize with Your Digital Stack. Uh, so today our agenda will be, uh, I'm going to do some brief introductions, we're going to do an orientation to mobilize, we'll define what a digital stack is, and then we'll walk through some examples on how folks are using mobilize successfully with their digital stack. Please do type all your questions in the Q&A box in Zoom and we'll make sure to answer them as we go or at the end. All right. Uh, so my name is Jocelyn Strauss and I'm a Senior Client Success Manager here at Mobilize. I come from a background in advocacy with nearly six and a half years working in organizing and data for Moms Demand Action and Every Town for Gun Safety. Mobilize connects mission-driven organizations and supporters making the world more just, inclusive, and democratic. At Mobilize, we are focused in on the following three areas of organizing. We want to make sure that we are providing you with a platform that allows you to recruit supporters easily, including a centralized events feed and integrations to CRMs, engagement, and analytics platforms. We also want to make sure that your supporters come back to events, so not just one action, but multiple actions over time. And through our mobilized network and built-in social sharing, you are able to tap into new volunteers and volunteerism. We are used across the spectrum of organizing and across the country by 2,000 organizations and counting. All right, so let's define your digital stack. What tools are you currently using or planning to use? Uh, CRMs, your databases and customer relations management platforms, communication and engagement, so your broadcast and peer-to-peer -peer text, your phone banking and predictive dialers, email, social media accounts, and data analytics. Mobilize can integrate with several analytics tools to help you better understand your data. <clears throat> How are you currently using your tools? Do your tools seamlessly integrate with Mobilize so they can work together in the background? What tools will work in tandem with Mobilize without integrating directly? We see clients use Zoom, phones tools, texting tools, digital tools, and many more. Here are some examples of platforms that integrate directly with Mobilize. And then here are some ways that you can use your tools in tandem with Mobilize. All right, so we'll go through some examples now a little bit more specifically. Using recruitment tools with Mobilize, you can promote your Mobilize feed across multiple channels to recruit and engage your supporters. The Harris presidential campaign took advantage of our, at the time, newly launched ActBlue integration and met multiple teams' goals in the process. The campaign promoted their mobilized event feed in social media ads and acquired supporters helped scale the campaign's email list. More than 15% of these supporters initiated a donation through the ActBlue integration, bringing in enough funds to offset 50% of the cost of their ads and significantly decrease the cost per acquisition of new emails. As a bonus, folks that actually donated uh, tended to show up, so it reduced the no rate show significantly. This also was helpful because the events team was able to make the argument for additional social media spending because the growth of their volunteer base and the contribution to fundraising goals. We see a lot of clients use peer-to-peer -peer texting to both recruit for events, so sending out the link to the Mobilize event to supporters, and as an activity volunteers can sign up for, such as this phone bank, or sorry, text bank shift sign up page. 
Video conferencing tools are one of the most widely used tools working in tandem with Mobilize today on the platform. Hosting virtual events such as tele town halls, panel discussions, trainings, meetings, happy hours, you name it. Many uh, make use of the automated confirmation email to send video conferencing tools uh, in the private details. And the reminders also help reduce the flake rate of your signups. This too is a common example of tools working together. Using Mobilize as a way for volunteers to sign up for phone banks or link directly to a phone bank in a common way for organizations to do voter contact or member outreach, or as in this example, making calls around census work. Mobilize integrates with some messaging platforms and be, can be used in tandem with many more. In this example, the automated confirmation email will deliver the virtual meeting space to signups. Mobilize allows you to configure a donation ask post signup in the confirmation email. This easily increases donations and broadens your donor base. You can also use Mobilize virtual actions to direct volunteers and supporters to your own fundraising page, such as this example. In this example, you can see that Mobilize is used in tandem with several other tools. And in that, it can strengthen the usage of the relational organizing tool by building community. Using the automated confirmation email, the video conferencing and app information are sent to signups. Mobilize also integrates with some relational organizing tools. Data is important. And having clean, robust field data is extremely valuable, especially during an important year like this. With a centralized event feed hosting all your events and digital actions, the mobilized integrations with many CRMs and eCRMs help you keep track of your data and build your program. Mobilize is your central destination for organizing and working seamlessly with your digital stack to enhance your organizing capabilities. And with that, uh, we are ready for questions and I'll, I'll pull Emily back in as well. Um, we have two questions so far. Feel free to put them in the Q&A and Jocelyn and I can answer them live. One is, does Mobilize integrate with Reach? I don't believe offhand that it does, but I have a feeling that you might be able to use it in tandem with reach. So where you can't necessarily integrate directly, you might be able to use it in tandem with. I think, um, as Jocelyn mentioned, there are a handful of platforms that we integrate with directly, like NGP Van, where there's just an automatic integration. And then there's a ton of complementary platforms where if you just put a link to them, in a mobilized event, um, they work together. So I, I think Jocelyn, you're right that Reach is one of the latter. Um, I think we have so, a question. Yeah. And go ahead, Joss. Oh, I was going to. There's a question around just going back a slide, so I'm going to just go ahead and go. Perfect. Back one slide. <laughs> and again, this slide that Jocelyn is showing um, in a second, it will be the ones that we integrate with directly. Um, but there are, it does not include the platforms like a lot of the texting tools and phone banking tools we talked about where you can use them without a full integration with Mobilize. Is it possible to include hot links in event posts? I, I personally So you don't. can definitely... Oh. <laughs> I, I, I'm worried there actually is a bit of a lag on my side, so I apologize if anybody was experiencing that, but um, the, uh, you can include links. Um, so we generally recommend either using a virtual volunteer action where you can actually redirect people, um, supporters, volunteers, members directly to whatever URL you'd like. Uh, you can also include them in uh, private details for other types of events. So once someone has signed up, they'll receive a private, um, they'll receive a like personal email, it's automated, um, it'll have all those private details in there. Great question. Um, we have a question about who is our competition. 
I don't want to sound like I'm avoiding the question, but there really isn't like a direct competitor. Um, I would probably mm -hmm. say the closest is maybe NGP Van, but they're a CRM and we're an events platform. Um, so we actually work in tandem really well together. Um, so I don't know if there really mm -hmm. is a direct competitor. We kind of are the go-to in this space. Um, yeah. Another question, do we plan to integrate with mobilize.io? Um, Jocelyn, I can jump in for now, but feel free to jump in. We, uh, there, that's yeah. not the roadmap currently. It's funny that you asked because I think people sometimes get us confused, though we are very different platforms, um, but obviously the name can be misleading, but no, that is not on our roadmap currently. Okay. Um, let's see. I is can there... take Mark's question. Perfect. Go for it. Yeah. Um, so for various reasons on the Facebook side, integration is hard. Uh, that said, there are a lot of ways that you can use, say, um, a Facebook event uh, to like have folks actually sign up sort of like a ticketed event. So you can use your mobilized event link as the ticketed event for a Facebook event, and then you can kind of get the best of both worlds, have the visibility of a Facebook event, but drive those signups into the mobilized event. Um, again, there's not a real easy way to integrate with Facebook. And then do you, the um, next one, is there an I easy way to embed the mobilized feed directly on my website without a lot of custom programming? Yeah, that's a great question. I um, have actually found that the easiest way to do this is to do a redirect. So there's a lot of optimizing that we do for the event feed so that your volunteers have a great experience, events are really easy to find, uh, and you're able to get all of that by doing a redirect. So maybe having like a button on your website that says events or take action, and when folks click that, it redirects immediately to your uh, mobilize event. Any other questions? Good questions? Could you talk about ways to streamline mobilize into digital organizing with social media or via email? Yeah, Jocelyn, maybe it's worth going back to that earlier slide. Did it land on it? I know there's a lag. <laughs> it's getting there. Sorry, everybody, bear Great. with us. Some of the joys of working from home. And I'll <laughs> um, also having kids in school at the same time as webinars. Um, so as far as Streamline, um, I would definitely take a look at like where all of your social media and email programs are. We do integrate with some uh, eCRMs, so that might be a really helpful thing for you. Um, but generally speaking, I like to think of your mobilized event feed as like where you want to almost train your supporters to go to take action with you. So the more places you can put that event feed so that folks know when they want to take action, uh, they are aligned with your organization and your values and they come to you to take action with you. And the event feed is where they know they can always find something to do. So uh, with that kind of mindset, putting it wherever you can. So making sure that it's regularly maybe in your uh, broadcast text program, um, any of your emails that you're making sure to recruit folks even to your event feed if you don't have any like specific events you're recruiting for. Uh, making sure it's linked in your social media and you're regularly tweeting about events that are coming up. Uh, and then web, so we, I just kind of uh, spoke a little bit to that, but having a redirect on your website is a really great way to just get people to easily take action with you. Great. I can, oh, we have more questions coming in. Keep them coming. Um, from Victor, as you know, this year there is concern about hacking and election interference, particularly from foreign actors. I'm hoping that Mobilize has some defenses. Um, I can speak to that and then Jocelyn, feel free to jump in. But we, um, I, we actually have an article as well about how we prevent Zoom bombing and all sorts of 
um, interference beyond just for campaigns and elections. But as Jocelyn was mentioning, since you put the link to Zoom or whatever other platform you're using in the private details section of your event, it only gets sent to people who register for your action with their email. So you can monitor it as they come in, come in. And if there is ever suspicious activity, we have a user blocking feature on the platform where you can block them from that event, from all future events, and that user will will never know, um, but they won't be able to access your events anymore. So it is something we take very seriously here, of course. Jocelyn, anything I missed? No, that was great. Okay, from Mark, we have the option to integrate with the Texas Democratic Party's Mobilize and Van Sync Up. If we do, does all of our contact info become shared? Some volunteers may not want that unless they opt in. So I'm gonna take a go at answering this um, and feel free to type in if I don't totally nail it. Uh, if you are um, going to be running your own events, you can always make them private events and recruit internally. So um, if, you're if you're working with volunteers who say don't want um, any of that information shared publicly, whatever you're having on your event feed, especially if it's private events, that's gonna stay internal to you. Uh, if you do have public events that potentially get promoted, say on the Texas Democratic Party page, they will only be able to see the folks that they have pushed to the event. So if you have 20 signups and they've pushed two to your event, they'll see the two that they pushed, but they won't see everybody else. So again, you'll be the one that gets to see the total amount of the data. Um, okay, a couple comments coming in as questions too. Um, yeah. <laughs> are, some of these are very helpful, thank you. Um, oh, one in chat. Um, there are certain national groups whose events are in their area that he wants on his feed. Pre-COVID, it was easy as they just sorted on zip code, but in the COVID era, all the zip code lists virtual events nationally are showing up and cannot be booted from the feed. Um, the one thing I would suggest is we have tons of filters uh, beyond just location. It could be by the organization or campaign. It could be by the type of event. Um, it could be by the date or time. Um, and some of these virtual events do have zip codes. So I would try to play with those, filter them further, um, and see if that gives you more of a personalized selection on your feed. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Joss? Yeah. If you're trying to prevent those events from appearing on your feed too, you can manage those in the promotions tab on your event page and, and hide them from the feed. You could alternatively take some of the events that you just want to raise more to the top that are yours and pin them to the feed so that your events are marked as highest priority. Uh, so then at least you've got those kind of floating up. Great. One more, just to be clear that SMS texting can only be used for events or could this be used as peer-to-peer? -peer? You wanna jump in, Joss? Um, yeah, so we, uh, we are able to be integrated with mobile commons. So if you're using mobile commons to say a broadcast text message, we integrate, um, well, they integrate directly with us. So you can get that set up. Uh, what we see a lot of though is folks using um, mobilize as either a place for folks to sign up for a peer-to-peer -peer texting shift. So uh, they're signing up to text on Thursday afternoons or they are signing up to become like part of a, uh, like, you, sorry, or they're using Mobilize to sign up. Uh, so they are getting a list of their members and supporters and actually peer-to-peer -peer texting them to see if they're interested in coming to an event. If they are, then they send out the link to the Mobilize event so folks can easily sign up. Great. I think those were all the questions. Great questions. I wanted to go through a couple announcements. Um, oh, okay. With all the new platform stuff out there, this is a great question. What are the differences, say, between Slack and Mobilize? Um, so Slack is a community messaging tool, um, often used in workplaces, but also across organizations and campaigns that we work with well as Mobilize is really an events management and volunteer recruitment platform. So you can use them both. You can create an event on Mobilize 
um, and handle all, all of our privacy features, our cross promotion features, our full network, but then promote it to your Slack community so they can sign up on Mobilize. The benefits there are Mobilize will have all the information automatically sent to them. It will also prompt them. I'm sure you all got a nudge this morning um, saying, reminder, you have an event today at 2 p.m. Um, and some of that might have been through text, some might have been through email. We also have a network of 2 million volunteers. We just hit that 2 million number today, which is very exciting. So your event is exposed to those 2 million individuals that you probably don't have in your Slack group. Um, and other organizations can cross promote you. People can invite their friends to join your, um, to join your event. There's just more exposure and opportunity for discovery. Ooh, more questions come in. Um, great, Catherine, I see your note about a workshop on using those together. That makes total sense. I will write that down. Um, Roy is asking, this is a perfect question for Jocelyn. I am already using Mobilize, but was looking for some sort of tutorial on using it. Where would you send us for that? We actually do that every week. So I will make sure that is sent out um, in the follow-up email with a recording today, Roy, so that you can sign up for our weekly training and get some more hands-on experience. It will probably be with Jocelyn. <laughs> Um, yeah. And also, um, just to like add as well, and potentially, Catherine, this might be helpful for you. Uh, we do a virtual event training weekly also. So while we won't be necessarily uh, talking full digital stack, we will talk about how you can use virtual events in tandem with other tools. Okay. Is there a way to integrate with Meetup to gain the promotional benefits of that platform, but the data collection of Mobilize? Um. I don't have an answer for that. I feel like that's <laughs> okay. something we get uh, an answer for later. Um, I'm honestly not terribly familiar with Meetup either. I am not either. I don't think we see a lot of our um, partners using it in tandem, but also, and I take this with a grain of salt, where we're not super familiar with its promotional benefits, but um, Mobilize has its own promotional benefits. So like I was mentioning, um, when someone signs up for an event, we prompt them to bring a friend. And right now, 14% of all RSVPs on our platform are coming from people bringing friends to the event. Um, so that is no work on your part. We just empower your supporters to bring friends themselves. We also have distributed organizing where volunteers can host events on your behalf. And about 48% of all events on our platform are hosted by volunteers. And that is them expanding your reach on your behalf. No work from you. Um, you also can cross promote events between, uh, between organizations to get in front of each other's audiences and on each other's feeds. And then we also have um, the central mobilize.us landing page, which gets thousands of visitors a month. And we cross promote all of your events on there. So actually there's a huge level of network effects on Mobilize that I think is really unmatched on other platforms. Mm -hmm. Chris, I see you love the bring a friend prompt. Me too. That was an exciting day <laughs> when we launched that. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to go through a couple announcements, but we're, we have plenty of time. So if other questions come up, throw it in there. Um, also, I'm realizing I think the founder of Meetup is one of our investors. Hey. I think we've all met him too. I'm yes. just I'm not very <laughs> yeah. familiar. Yeah. Um, so the founder of Meetup invested in Mobilize, which should tell you something about uh, his opinion on our network effects and promotional capabilities. Um, Joss, do you mind going to the last slide with contact? So two things, Jocelyn mentioned two of them, but I wanted to make sure you caught them. One is we are beta testing Salesforce right now. That is going to be our latest CRM that we integrate with. We know that's a big one for you guys. Um, so keep an eye out for that. It is coming in the next few weeks. Also, just the other day, we launched the fundraising feature that Jocelyn mentioned. We used to only integrate with Act Blue for fundraising, and we would give you an automatic prompt after you signed up for an event to donate to the organization. We now um, give you the same ability with any fundraising platform. So if you use Classy or Fundraise or Every Action or whatever it is, all you need is a link, you plug it in, and we will prompt people to donate to your organization or campaign. Right now, 20% of people shown that prompt donate at, or initiate a donation. And on average, the donation they initiate is $21. So that's pretty easy. You will turn your volunteers into donors and supporters, and that's a more comprehensive way to think about them. 
The other thing I wanted to mention for those of you who are doing COVID-19 relief work, um, we are offering free access to our core platform through the end of next month. The link is on this slide and we will also send it out in the follow-up email. Um, we are really proud to support your work. We have a bunch of amazing nonprofits and government entities using this free platform. Um, and we wanna make sure that uh, we're helping you recruit volunteers and get the word out there. And then also we'll send a couple resources, including our COVID-19 Resource Center, which has all the latest webinars, the latest news, blog posts, every best practice you can think of, um, all related to those topics we had in the poll about the challenges you're facing during this time. So we want you to know we're here for you. Whether you use Mobilize or not, please use these resources. Um, we know you're making the world a better place and we wanna support that. So with that, I think we're done for the day. Thank you, Jocelyn, for the great presentation and thank you everyone for attending. And we will send a follow-up email with a recording later tonight. Thanks everyone. Bye, thank you.